is created by Goji Wars. In Goji Wars. Goji Wars. Goji Wars. Goji Wars. Oh, for five minutes, could you not be yourself? For five minutes! Now, to be fair, I don't think Goji Wars' movies are terrible. I don't think that at all. I think he just needs to improve on a few things. Now, I know he made a video, um, he did made a live stream about talking about my, um, my review of his film of Godzilla, It's Destructive Intent. And, with that review, um, there were, of course, if you, um, tell by, um, if you watch the, um, live stream, you know that Goji Wars probably didn't like the review, of course. Which, that's okay, that's okay. I mean, I mean, it's okay if he hated that review. I understand, because, um, that review has to be probably one of the worst, um, Godzilla reviews that I ever made from Goji Wars. I had to agree with that. Because I got the plot wrong. So stupid of me. So anyway, but today I'm going to do something very different. Today, um, I'm going to make this entire video, um, dedicated to what I think Goji Wars should improve on his films. Now, Goji Wars, if you're listening to this, um... Oh, I think you definitely are, uh, mate. But anyway, um, so um, you don't have to listen to this if you want to. This is just an opinion, but um, these are just a few things. This is just my own opinion on what you should improve on, so just remember that. But So you don't have to listen to this, and if you're a casual viewer, just sit back and relax and enjoy. So I will just dive into this for just for one tick. Um, if you are Goji Wars, which I think you already are watching this video, you know what I mean. Um, if you're making a live stream with your friends, I don't seem to care. And if you're a viewer of my channel, sit back and relax and grab a snack and enjoy. As I dive further into jo Goji Wars' films. So, let's just begin with all this. So... Uh, Goji Wars with his Godzilla films, or Jura also Jurassic World, Jurassic Park movies, uh, he only, like, he do did do one Star Wars and Jurassic Park, I mean, not Jurassic Park, Godzilla mixed with Star Wars movie. He done, I think he's done, like, five or, f five or six movies so far on his channel, like, his five or six fan films, like, throughout 2020 and a bit of 2021, I mean, I don't think he hasn't released, I think he's only released one film this year, but still though, I think Goji Wars should improve on his films, I've been saying that all the time, and now is finally the video to um, actually talk and deep, to dive deeper into some of the problems that I have with his movies, so without further ado, I'm just going to begin the talk down and breakdown right here. So for starters, we're gonna. If you can't, ha you can't have a movie without a plot, of course. So let's just take a look at the plot to Goji Wars's movies. So basically, in his movies, it's mostly about soldier people with Godzilla, Jurassic World, and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. What Goji Wars really has to deliver with his films, or mostly in it, we mostly see soldier people or just normal people. And Godzilla or other kaijus, or also, if it's a Jurassic Park film, we're going to see dinosaurs. So, technically, that's pretty much it of what we're going to see in Goji Wars' films. Goji Wars, for some odd reason, has, um, well, what I've mostly seen throughout his films is mostly, especially his Godzilla ones. And that is that most of them involve around how Godzilla isn't a threat and thing like that. Which, that's pretty much the most story plot that I basically see. And also, um, in other plots, um, it's mostly about Godzilla and also other kaijus fighting. And also soldier people talking about their life. Yeah, I'm not kidding. kidding. Well, yeah, it's okay. I mean, like, it's an okay choice. But really, um, Goji Wars should make a different story a bit. Like, especially, um, here's my story of what he should do. Either an origin story, he, we could have an origin story of Godzilla, like what happened to the atomic bomb or things like that. That would be a cool story if Goji Wars would actually make one. But one thing that I think will be a good story um, was probably to have like most of the Godzilla monsters actually fighting. 
Like, this will be really awesome, especially for Goji Wars movie, because... And that is, if we had, like, every single Godzilla monster from the Godzilla universe, I know that's too much, but we could have them all fighting um, as a movie with no, with, with a bit of human scenes. But, however, the humans don't just talk about life and also talk about how Godzilla's, um, how having Godzilla here isn't so bad and things like that. Don't include that. Just make all humans and monster, monsters battling and humans basically on the ground. So, yeah, I know that might sound boring to a lot of people, especially um, people who hate human scenes, and especially when monsters are battling. But, you know, I would like to see all the Godzilla monsters fighting each other. So, that's, I think story his stories are okay. Just okay. The next thing I'll talk about is him with the action figures touching it. And it happens a lot. I mean, really, we can see your fingers there. Um... Now, to be fair, I know he's using action figures, but you can still see your hand in the way. Now, I'm not trying to be rude about this, but it's just that you can block, you can, like, um, not, not show your fingers, um, in front of the screen. Like, you can easily hide that, um, that's what I try to do with my fan films. Maybe you might see a bit of fingers or, um, my hand on some of the uh that is with my fan films of course and that is that um there might be a bit of mistakes and i know, i understand that there can be a bit of mistakes where someone with using fan films accidentally catches their finger on the toy but um with goji wars it's getting hinted all the time i mean i see lots of um i mostly see his hands in almost all of his fan films and it's just not really how the story plays out, and I'm sorry for that, but that's just my own opinion. I don't really feel like um, using, having your fingers in the way of a fan film, like, it kind of um, interrupts the story and doesn't make it feel real. It looks like they're controlled by a hand. So anyway, just improve on that. Also, um, this is kind of weird, and I don't think I've seen this for a long time. It's mostly in his older ones, but I see humans in the film. No. It's mostly seen in Godzilla Destructive Intent, but it's only just one scene. That's this one, which has this um, human action figure yeeting out of the table, moving onto the other table, which that's what it kind of looks like. And you can even see the tables right there, see? So, well, I haven't seen this for a very long time, but in my own opinion, you should... Um, like, if it's, like, in a building, um, that might be okay, but it kind of still makes it like the humans are floating, and that's kind of a problem, so don't make humans just randomly, um, fly in the air, because that'll be weird, of course, of course, we don't want, just keep them on the ground, like, especially if you're holding them, just hold them by their legs on the ground, like, pretending they're, like, on the ground except for having them float in the air, so, yeah, and I hope Primal Rage and, um, also Godzilla Inhumane does this anyway. Seriously, this dinosaur, which is also known as the Slats Meekum, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's his name, the dinosaur's name. But literally, this scene, he cannot literally pick up this person. And in real life, if that happens, the person's head will be ripped off. And plus, why does it take a long time for this dinosaur to kill this person? And, uh, or whatever, anyway. That was just a scene from Primal Rage, just so you know. Okay, and here's um, the second last um, complaint about his films. It's not actually with the film. It's actually mostly with Goji Wars' trailers. And that is that... When he makes a trailer, when he puts, like, a theme song in it, it's always very loud and noisy. And I'm not even joking. It can literally, like, kind of hurt someone if they have earphones on them. Like, um, if you can tell with Goji Wars' trailer, especially the Primal Rage one, and I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it was also with the Destructive Intent trailer. Well, I haven't watched that video for a, bit, a bit of a while, so... Um, ever since it was out, but you can tell that 
in Goes Your Wars as trailers, the music is, like, the theme song is always so loud. And sometimes I can't really hear the characters as well. I mean, if you, if you actually hear, I'll play one clip from the um, trailers. This is from um, Primal Rage right here. And it also happens to some of the um, characters and stuff in the film. So, in my opinion, in your trailers, just keep the... Um, no if you're, like, focusing on a human speaking, just keep your noise a bit down. Because sometimes I can't really hear you and your voice is kind of quiet. So, and the trailer's also um, very loud. So, anyway. And the final thing that I had to talk about, and I think Goji Wars knows this. The final thing that I had to talk about is the camera work, of course. Now, in the um, video of the live stream, I heard that Goji Wars says that he uses an Android. But... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, now that just, well, I'd searched up, and I think that just were tolls. Um, I'm not hu a hugely of a camera person, just so you know. But I'm just saying, you can literally just um use one position, like, to shoot the character, like, to shoot the um scene. Um, You can't, like, it just, what do I have to say here? It's just that... With the camera work, you can just um put one shot. Like you can like hold the camera just for one shot and then you just press the record button and then stop it. And yeah, it's kinda of simple to use the camera work. I mean it's not hard to use it. It's just so you know. And in my own opinion, um like I do that with my fan films. I try to um like, film a perfect shot. I don't try to um, check the camera lots of times. I literally try to use a perfect shot. Just so my film doesn't get to shakiness. Uh, so, yeah. Just improve on that, okay? Please. And that is pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, um, Goji Wars, if you're listening to this, you don't have to um, agree with me on all this. But... Um, I hope that in the future of Goji Wars' fan films, I hope they're going to be better, because, and I'm not too sure if I will be making reviews, I might do for Primal Rage, probably Godzilla Destructive Intent, um, but I'm not too sure, um, so yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much the review. And Jurassic Park, well, Jurassic World, Primal Rage is premiering in eight days, so... And for now, the film looks okay. I think the problem is with some of the things said in this video, so... Uh, yeah. Just improve in the future, Goji Wars. Um, I really do say, I really do say that. I'm trying to help you out with your um, fan films. I'm not trying the to is a film boss by you Goji around or anything. Uh, or maybe just talk crap about your videos, of course not, I'm not doing it, I'm actually trying to help you with some of your fan films, so, anyway, please like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and subscribe.